Hey, my name is Ryan Balderson, VP of Product Development with Seafox Boat Company, and I'm really excited to show you guys this brand new 268 Commander. When you're looking at the lines on the 268 Commander, you can really notice the big Carolina flare up in the bow. We designed that for a super dry ride when you're out in the ocean. You know, if it gets choppy and you're going through wave to wave, it really deflects the spray and keeps you nice and dry. Another neat feature on this boat is the through hull anchor system. You got the windlass that's below deck, you got the anchor off the bow, so, so you have a really, really nice clean deck when you're, when you're boarding the boat or when you're getting off the boat, say here at the beach. Starting inside the boat, we're gonna start with the bow and I'm gonna show you some really neat features we've designed. So like every Sea Fox we designed from 20 feet all the way up to 36 feet, we really designed family friendly features in the bow. You got the contoured seating up here, so it's really comfortable when you're lounging, facing aft. We got the flip out bolsters up here, and on this particular boat, we got the big console lounger that's contoured, really ergonomically correct and comfortable. And on this particular 268, this boat is featured with the optional bow filler that also turns into a table. So I mentioned earlier about the windlass. You can see it's below deck. And what's really nice what we've done is these are tension hinges. So when you lift the lid up, it stays in place. And also you have switches up here to operate the windlass. So one of the great features on our 268 is this console lounger. It's about the same size as our 288. It's got built-in flip-up armrest. And it's the smallest boat in our fleet that offers the console lounger. In the bow area of this 268, you have tons of storage. You got storage under the lounger, you got storage up in the bow area, and you have in-floor five gallon bucket storage. I want to talk about some more of the bow seating up here for the family. We designed these flip out bow bolsters so when you get on plane and you want to face forward you can lean up right here and then when you want to stow them you just flip them back put them right against the gunnel. So one of the options I wanted to point out on this boat is the brand new 2021 sandstone color. It's brand new for us. It looks really good on this boat. It's got the offshore pattern stitched in, and we manufacture all these cushions at the factory. On the 268 comes standard with this hardtop. We have some of the best hardtops in the marine industry. It has tons of features on it. Built-in side lights with LEDs, and another great storage box on this boat is a place to store your fire extinguishers. So moving aft on the 268, I want to show you some great new features on this console. Inside the console, you have a porcelain toilet with holding tank and you have dive tank storage down here. So on the 268, it comes standard with fresh water and raw water washdowns. And what we did was we designed it midship so you have easy access to wash the bow down or the stern. So on the 268, we designed this brand new console. It's got really clean look with the black acrylic dash. You can flush mount up to two 12 inch Garmin's or Simrad's. It's got the stereo, all your gauges, everything built right into the black acrylic dash. So every 268 comes standard with this leaning post. It's a big oversized leaning post. It's got built-in bolsters and it's designed ergonomically correct. So when you're sitting, you got a place for your feet, easy access to the wheel. So now moving to the stern of the 268, you can really see how big this cockpit is. With the 9.3 beam, it really allows a lot of walking room around this leaning post. We got the built-in bench across the back here, your live well. And another really neat option on this leaning post is the tackle center with the slide-out Yeti. So a great feature on the 268 that's standard is the side door. So when you pull up to the dock, it's easy to get in and out the boat. Or if you're pulling up to the beach, you can just step right out, right onto the beach. So another great feature on the 268 is the aquarium live well. We do a standard aquarium live well from 22 to 36 feet. It's really neat, you can watch the bait swimming in there, making sure they're staying nice and healthy for when you get out to the fishing grounds. And then another thing is we build in an AFCO fishnet, so it's easy to store, ready, there, ready for you when you're ready to use it, you grab your baits. So battery maintenance and battery access is always hard to get to on some boats, but in this boat we designed it so you can get right to your batteries in this machinery box, and you have your raw water, fresh water pump, you got your steering pump, and all your breakers and everything right here. So you can service it, real, really easy to maintenance. So one of our sayings here at Seafox is, family friendly in the bow, fisherman friendly in the stern. So what I mean by that is in the cockpit, you got two in-floor fish boxes that can hold a ton of fish. 
You got a pressurized aquarium live well. You got rod holders galore. You got them across the stern, up and down the gunnels, and flush mounted cleats to keep your deck nice and clean. So finally at the stern, just want to point out a couple more features. You have the four-step telescoping ladder for easy boarding when you're at the sandbar. We have a built-in cooler right here where you can either put drinks in there or you can put a stern anchor. And then this boat's equipped with twin 150s. Pushes this boat about 50 miles an hour on your top end. Great cruise of about 30 miles an hour. And super, super economical to run. That's a wrap on the 268 Commander. Hope you guys enjoyed all the new features we came out with. For more information on this boat, just check us out on the website and look forward to seeing you guys out in the water.